Hey, welcome for this online training sessions. From 21D onwards, Oracle 22D, I'm sorry, 22D means uh, 2022. D means fourth quarter. D means fourth quarter. Oracle has provided the journey future. When employees are applying for a leave, they can just go through the journey, try to understand some standards from Oracle, from client, and then they can go for apply for a leave. When the organization wants to provide some information through videos or some text information to the employee before they apply for a leave, they can get the journey options here. Earlier, when employee log in and choose the time and options, they will be able to select add options. Directly system will show the options types which employee is eligible so that employee can select the options type and uh, choose start date and date for the options and apply for a leave. And the approvals will be sent for the manager and manager will be taking a decision. That's a simple process. But this journeys concept as introduced by Oracle, the advantage of this journeys is when organization wants to put some tasks in front of the employee before applying for a leave, before submitting an options request to the employee, sorry, manager, employee what they can do they can just go through the company leave policies if they are not aware of it and uh, also they can find they can raise some of the questions about the leave policies the hr administrator is going to give the response and uh, frequently whatever the questions are raised by employee and and the hr department whatever they given that will find it here and finally, they can go for submit an option. So it's, they just added two more things before start applying for an uh, leave. Earlier, what happened? This was there, directly submit an options request here. So what employees has to do is once they log into the applications, they have to click on this button, start this journey. When we click on this button, start this journey, then the system will show the list of uh, tasks which employee is supposed to complete. Total three tasks are available. These are the T tasks. First, annual leave policy. Just click on that. System will show the video. This, this video we can go for add while creating the journey. So where do we create a journey? While working with our uh, setups. In FSM environment, we have an option to configure the journey. There we can go for attach this particular video, whatever is required. So once employee go through all these things, then employee can say, yes, I have completed. Click then. So one task has completed out of three. The first task has been completed out of three tasks here. One task has completed out of three. Then frequently asked questions. If employee uh, says that uh, if he if you want to visit the questions and answers frequently, the employees who has communicated with the management, they can just view here. Otherwise, if say, no, it's not applicable for me, I don't have any questions or I don't want to visit existing questions and answers, they can just say not applicable. So the second task has been completed successfully over here. Out of three tasks, we can find two such has been completed. Now the third one is the main one. Here, yeah. click on this, submit an options request. This is our uh, main, where employee can go for create an options. When employees are going to create an options here, then we will be able to find the information. Create options here. Now here, options type uh, will be selected. So we are going to find the options type here. Choose this MRF type. MRF type we are going to have. So and we'll find total number of balances as an available here. Here we can find uh, 24 days leaves are available for this employee. And he is going to apply for a leave. While working with options plan, if it is days, it will calculate only working days. So let's say we are going to select 24th 
Friday and 27th from Friday to Monday. Then it has calculated only two days. It's not going to calculate the Saturday and Sunday holidays because while creating this options plan and options type, unit of measurement will be selected as days. And there is another one, calendar days. If you select calendar days, it includes the holidays also. How the system will come to know this is all day or not? We are supposed to configure one work schedule. Nothing but uh, HCM calendar. In work schedule, we are going to set the shift timings, calendar events, nothing but public holidays. And then we are going to group it and attach this work schedule to the employees. So that when employees are logging, then system will understand which work schedule is working. According to that, system will take up the holiday details. Now, two days, uh, employee is applying for a leave and employee can go ahead with the comments and attachments. And of course, can be added reasons also, but reasons is not displayed here means uh, while creating this options type, uh, you have not added uh, reasons. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have added the reasons, but you might have hide those reasons. There is a tab called uh, display items while working with the options type. Well, we have the tab called display items in this in this tab. We are going to hide or uh, display or hide the options reasons. Right. So that we will find. So now employee is going to apply for a leave two days. Click submit button. Now the journey has completed, applying for an options uh, journey. So earlier this last screen, it was displaying in old versions. From 22D onwards, this journey concept has been introduced by Oracle. Just to, to provide some more information to the employees. When employees are applying for a leave, the employee may not be knowing some of the policies or some of the questions uh, they wanted to raise to HR department, they can raise. So this is more flexible to the employees and more informative when they are applying for the leave. Now we can find two of three tasks has been completed. Okay, the third one also will be updated here. Take some time. Still it's working. So now employee wants to know what are the leaves I have applied so far. Uh, they can just go to time and options. There is option here, existing options. Click on this. This is two days employee has applied from 24th February to 27th February. And it's waiting for approval from the management. If the workflow notifications are working fast, then they'll be able to get it. Just check from the manager. Manager is going to log in and manager will be receiving the notification, leave request notification. So manager has to go to the notifications bell icon here. Yes. So two employees has applied for leave. One is options management, one employee, first employee. Another one is options management, two. This is our uh, current employee who has applied for a leave. Okay. Now it is asking, it is telling us action is required. Approval of MRF type options request from the employee called options management two from 24th February to 27th February. Now employee sorry manager can take a decision whether he wanted to go for approve it or reject if manager need more information about this he can request there is an option here actions he can request the information if manager is going to be on leave he can delegate or reassign this particular action to some other department employee or some other employee will take care of this and he can skip this current assignment, any other details. And we will find here the options uh, information here. Now the manager is going to take a decision that yes, it's, it's been approved.
So once uh, the leave request either approve or reject, obviously the employee is going to get it notification. Now let's log in with an employee here. Earlier absence uh, status was uh, awaiting approval. Now we will find existing absences. Let's go to here. It's been scheduled. Approved and scheduled 24th to 27th. This is how the employees can apply for the absences and managers can take decision whether it is approved or reject. But old version, it was just directly choose the absence type and start date, end date and apply for a leave. But now uh, create journey as a concept introduced by Oracle just to provide some more information before employee applying for a absence request. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.